Hi, welcome back. All right, so in the last video, we entered that nice little snare part we have going on there. In this video, we're going to do a little bit of bass drum entry, uh, start to layer in a bass drum part. And I'm going to write a part that more or less takes some of the snare, lump, uh, the snare line part there and a little bit of uh, the kick drum part that's in the drum set part that I added. All right, so let's go ahead and select the bass drum part. And we're going to introduce a, a new note entry method here that still kind of uses what we already know. But uh, if you press N on the keyboard, you can actually select everything you want um, on the rhythms rather than entering all your rhythms and then going back, adding accents, diddles, etc., etc. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my accent right here on the downbeat. So we have a nice beefy accented unison. And the, the kick drum part and the drum set part has an upbeat on count two. So... Uh, our first need to select the the eighth note rhythm and then press the the rest key which is zero on the keypad um, then press my unison key there we go all right so we've got that going on now I'm gonna want to add a rim click that essentially lines up with that um, snare drum rim shot up there but I don't want it to be accented so I'm gonna turn off the accent there by pressing the equal key and I'm going to press my rim click key on the MIDI keyboard. And now I want to add uh, some 16th notes that they'll single out rather than being diddled, but that line up with the snare drum part up there. And the bass drum part, like the snare part, also has right and left hand note heads that they're actually the same uh, note heads, 0 and 31. Um, but we're going to enter this with the MIDI keyboard. So we have the right hand, left hand, and bass 2 right hand, left hand. Now I'm going to put an accent that lines up with that uh, snare drum part there here on bass 3. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to hit escape twice to get out of that. And that's basically it for this video. In the next video we'll introduce writing for the tenor line and crossover note heads as well as how to play with puffies. So stick around for the next video. We'll see you next time.